Beam down smoke. So guys, uh, hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about how Bitskins is actually not shutting down. They said psych, and they're actually, you know, staying up. So let's talk about that. So on Reddit, about six hours ago or so, about seven actually, at the current making of this video, they posted a post saying that Bitskins was actually no longer shutting down, and they were instead staying up. They also posted the same thing on Twitter, so let me go ahead and read it from the Twitter, because the post on Reddit actually got removed. So the twit longer, and I'll kind of just go through it a little bit quickly here, and it actually says, Hello everyone, we're thrilled to announce that Bitskins has a new team. We're a group of people who have devoted our lives to the world of gaming, blah 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 blah, that doesn't really matter. And uh, they're going to mention that uh, they've actually not transferred sensitive user information. So if you had like uh, different verifications with your credit card or whatever, your PayPal, that did not get transferred. So you're going to have to put it back uh, on the site if you want to use Bitskins in the future. And uh, that, that is, I guess, an important point. Now, they've actually changed a few things as well. So as many of you know, sales fees were set to be increased since the start of October. While a change in sales fees will happen on October 14th, they will not be increased to the point that was previously mentioned. There will be various plans that will go from 10% down to 5%, uh, depending on your total sale volume. Cryptocurrencies are making a return. Depositing and withdrawing cryptocurrencies will be possible again. Deposits will be available very shortly, and withdrawals will be implemented in within a week And we work out as we work out the final details. Also, the $2,000 purchase and maximum item listing amount will be removed as well. And then there's a, uh, they're also talking about a better advanced search feature. They didn't really go into exact details here, but basically they're talking about creating a search feature where that allows you to uh, be able to check floats uh, specifically in like different stickers and sticker positioning and like all the sort of really, really advanced stuff on their search mechanisms uh, when you're searching for items on Bitskins, which is a really, really huge deal. That's actually really awesome. It'll allow a lot of people to be able to more accurately do low risk trade ups and stuff like that, which is really cool using Bitkin's items. So I think this is gonna be really, really good changes, um, but let's talk about all that in a second here. Okay, so the first thing I just wanna clarify as well is the reason that the post got removed on Reddit. So if you don't use Reddit, you probably don't know this, but uh, removed and deleted are two different things. So removed means that a third party, like a moderator, removed the post, and deleted means that the creator of the post removed it. So the post on Reddit actually got removed, not deleted. So that means that the moderators of Reddit actually took it down, not Bitskins themselves. So the reason they did this actually, and they did follow this up in a Reddit post, the reason that they removed the post uh, for Bitskins is because they do not have a whitelist on it. They don't know the owners of the site. So they don't know, you know, like they don't know if it's really uh, a post that can actually go through yet. They don't know if the owners are trustworthy or not. And uh, they don't, they haven't verified them yet. So they did not whitelist them. And that's why the post got removed and uh, not, you know, deleted. And so with that being said, guys, I actually wanted to expand it on, I wanted to expand on that as well. So the reason that it got removed is because it's not whitelisted, obviously, as I just said. And that's actually a really good thing because we don't know the owners of the site. We don't know who they are. We don't know where their backgrounds are. We don't know if they're trustworthy. So if you want to use Bitskins going forward, I would say wait a bit. I'm going to wait a bit personally. And I'm gonna check out, you know, how everything goes. If it if it's actually working a lot better, if the site implementations are, are very good and stuff like that, if the owners are trustworthy, and I'm not gonna like scam people, because that could very easily happen now that it's under new ownership. Um, we all know Bitskins was shutting down prior to these people coming in, so there is a very good chance that they are uh, people that kind of like lowballed or maybe got in there uh, pretty easily because maybe the owners of Bitskins were a bit desperate. So with that being said. Uh, yeah, wait a little bit before you start using the site again. The changes do seem really enticing, but definitely don't use them yet. Give it a little bit of time, be a bit safe on this end, and uh, you'll probably be fine if you use it uh, in all, you know, in all reasonableness. You'll probably be fine if you use it, but I would say just wait a bit, make sure everything's all good to go, uh, wait a few days or a week or whatever, and then, and then maybe, you know, try something out on there. We just don't know for sure if everything's all good and trustworthy. So let's wait a little bit for that, and then we'll get into it. And I'll also be updating you guys uh, in my future videos as well. Also, I wanted to mention before we end the video, the reason I did not upload the... I had a uh, video planned. It was going to be a really entertaining video uh, where I did Scribble.io, which is this like Pictionary app uh, with my moderators and admins on my Discord server. And basically what we did on that is we, um, we did that for keys. And it was a really entertaining, really funny video. And uh, I actually had it streamed, and I was going to use the VOD and then edit the VOD, 
but uh, I actually didn't have the VOD settings turned on, so I didn't have the VOD, and I wasn't able to edit it. And so that's why there's kind of been a gap in videos so far. But uh, there will be a new video coming soon, not the scribble one. I'm actually going to be doing a um, how to invest in play skins. So you can have play skins and how you can make them into a really good investment. And I'll be talking about all those different aspects as well pretty soon here. So I will talk about that in the next video. See you guys then. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and also be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you to Soldat for my new artwork on my channel as well. Just wanted to shout him out real quick. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. Discuss this in the comments below, and peace.